There is a greater goodness in the world, a greater goodness that lives within you, waiting to be discovered. This greater goodness is ever-present and has been kept alive in this world through the authentic spiritual work of people from all faith traditions. For God listens to that which gives within you. This is what moves the Lord of the universe. There is a greater goodness in the world. It exists beyond the realm and the reach of the intellect. It is something that can be felt in any situation, even in grievous and tragic situations. The greater goodness must be called forth from you. You cannot call it yourself, because it is only within the context of true relationship with yourself, with others, and with the world and beyond this with your source, that calls this out of you. God's new revelation for the world speaks of this greater goodness and provides the steps to take, to discover, to experience, and to live with this goodness. Undoing the many layers of shame, guilt, and unworthiness that prevents people from experiencing God's presence and power in the world, working through them and through others from the inside out. The greater goodness stands in contrast to the emphasis on evil, sinfulness, shame, guilt, and punishment that has been so much the hallmark of religion in the past. Here that which is important, that which is strong, that which is born of creation is the great emphasis. For it alone knows how to undo evil within you, to undo confusion, regret, anger, and self-repudiation. Here it is the greater goodness in you that must be emphasized, or you'll never escape the shadow of your own self-condemnation. God does not know you as a sinner. God only knows what God created in you, not what you have made of yourself. But the infinite wisdom of God has placed the greater goodness, the power of knowledge within you, to guide you, to protect you, and to lead you to a greater life of service and fulfillment in the world. This infallible part of you that is waiting to be discovered. This is the part of you that has never left God, that can respond to God, and can transmit the power and the wisdom of God into circumstances, both great and small. Here you become a vehicle. Here you are in relationship with your source, which teaches you how to be in relationship with others with purpose, meaning, and dignity. It is this greater goodness that will redeem you, for God has put it there to redeem you. No matter how degraded your life may have become, no matter how much regret you feel you have about your life and your past, even if you have lived a violent life with dreadful errors behind you, the greater goodness can still redeem you. For only God knows how to redeem you. And God has put the infallible power within you, waiting to be discovered. Here you do not have to believe in a great messenger or a great teacher or emancipator. For God has put this power in all, from every religion, country, 
tribe, nation, and group. For the Lord of the universe will not condemn any part of creation. It is only a matter of time till you can respond to what lives within you at this very moment. For there is a greater goodness in the world and it lives within you and it lives within each person waiting to be discovered. <laughs>